Hands up! For nearly three hours, several protesters held an open dialogue for why they're anti-killology. Hands up! Don't shoot! The march began at City Hall before making its way to the Spokane County Courthouse. While there, many of the speakers called on the Spokane County Sheriff's Office to cancel the training that's set for later this year in October. That's not something that serves the community of Spokane. Sheriff Ozzie Knezevich has gone on record to say he would prefer an open dialogue with the community before making any cancellations. He sees the training as something that would benefit his officers' mental health in the event they had to take someone's life. People speaking out against the training, however, feel it's unnecessary and goes against any kind of progress that would form stronger relationships between law enforcement and the community. Just getting to understand that in a very, very humanizing way is something that we are going to have to do if we want to get this event shut down. If we want to get that killology training out and turn around, we can't fight fire with fire on this issue. We have to fight fire with water. Today's event in opposition of the training was led by the human rights activist Cordery of Spokane. Organizers told me that over the past few weeks, they noticed protests slowing down in Spokane, but that killology is an issue they can't sit idly by and allow. That's why they're choosing to protest. My, my real question is, you know, why aren't others? The training is set to take place on October 27th. So far, there hasn't been a date set for the open forum involving sheriffs and the community. I don't support the police, but I do respect them as human beings and as, and as individuals who deserve the right to be free from violence. From Spokane, Brandon Jones, Crim2 News.